What is up, YouTube? Today I am asking the question that nobody wants to know the answer to, and that is, how much Chrysler minivan can you buy for 200 bucks? This is a 2005 Dodge Grand Caravan, also known as the Chrysler Town and Country. Um, it came in various packages, various specs, various uh, seating arrangements. This one happens to be the Stow and Go. I'll kind of go over some of the details and uh, tell you guys the story of how I scored this thing. As you can quite cl clearly see, it's got uh, power window issues. As does, um, what's that guy's channel? A, a, a real, a rural Vermonter. There we go. Yeah, his, his, he has his held up with duct tape last time. So this has the same deal as the, uh, the third gen Dodge Dakotas, like the 06 to, uh, 2008, I think. Where it's got the same, the key fob is the key. Um, everything on it works. You guys watch this. Oh. Let's try that one. They both work. And then your button's in here. If, like, say you have a passenger and they just want to open the door. And your trunk here. I've got my work boots and uh, I scored that lawn chair for free. It was just left in the parking lot. But these are your, your sew and go seats. They fold, even these guys. As you can see up here, they just fold right into the floor. Uh, this is the 3.8 Chrysler V6. I don't, I don't honestly know a lot about these. Um, overall, I hear these vans are pretty reliable. They have transmission issues, as does any Chrysler product. Leaks oil, as you can see, so that, that rag was included with it. Um, this is an older battery, but it's an interstate battery. I can, I mean, I can tell these people cared about their car. Because they've got name brand stuff on it. and it Seeps a little bit of oil. Um, I'm down about a quart right now. Okay, I need more oil than what I thought, but I'm, I'm taking care of that tonight. Uh, the tires have pretty awesome tread on them. They are starting to, you know, dry rot crack a little bit. They weren't driving this a whole lot before I got a hold of it, so it's just been sitting in the, the sun a lot, as you can tell by its paint job. The only issue I'm having with it right now is uh, this tire right here. This was caused by me because I work uh, construction. 194, 990. It's got the fancy radio, the DVD changer, which unfortunately doesn't work. You gotta hook a monitor up to it down here. Try not to get copyright struck here. Now ignore my pile of uh, receipts in here, but you can tell this is 2005 era because this flips out. This is designed for uh, what they call a flip phone. Not very many people have those. <laughs> but if you have a flip phone and you have one of these vans, this is a pretty handy feature. Now mine, unfortunately, does not work with this. 
Got rear climate control. And what am I looking for here? Oh, a saggy headliner. Yeah, this is just typical Chrysler stuff. I'm gonna get more thumbtacks for it and some duct tape and uh, whatever else I need to do. Now, as you guys can see, air conditioning's running. Uh, everything in this works, pretty much, except for the power windows. This one is just sort of loosey-goosey, it does whatever. That one is stuck in the up position. As you can see, when I press the button, the light dims, so it tells me that the motor's burnt out. And then something these Chrysler products do when you shut them off, then you reach over here, turn off your headlights, they stay on for two minutes, so you've got that little bit of uh, extra light. And it's got um, Chrysler Navigation CDs. Um, basically how that works, you put that in your CD player right here on the top slot, and then uh, you press your navigation button down here, and you have maps and uh, maps and directions from 2005, which kind of sucks because uh, there's plenty of roads that have been built since then, and yeah, don't rely on that. I don't. <laughs> and it's got this badass little uh, compartment over here for your CDs and stuff. If you guys are ever looking at these in the, in the junkyard, you want to open that up, make sure there's nothing cool in there, because people tend to forget that it's... I don't typically like the film and drive, but uh, this is just a parking lot, so we'll, we'll do it. There's people on the subway over here have to be giving me the strangest looks. <laughs> 